<clears throat> Question. Are you truly Australian if you don't own one of these? I, I'm just saying. Yes. G'day everyone, how's it going? My name's Ashley and today we're doing my TBR for the Australian Readathon. So this is created by Mel from a book fiend named Mel and obviously Australian Readathon, that means we read books only by Aussie authors and I am so so excited because I don't didn't realise just how many of these books I have are Australian and I'm just ah I'm so excited. So all the details will be linked down below in the description box as always. So go follow Mel and the lovely co-hosts and let's get into what I'll be reading this month. Okay, so it's not going to be a big list only because I have a feeling things might be changing next month. I won't go into detail here but things might be happening. So I may not have a lot of time to read these but hopefully I'm getting to, I can get to all of them being a short list but we shall see. I do have other reading blocks planned as well. Details I'm going to keep secret. You will have to wait and see what they are. But let's go to the list and see what we've got. So the book I really do want to get to is the group book, which is The Boy from the Mish by Gary Longsborough. I think I've said that right. So I had heard of this before. I didn't realise how popular this was. So this is the group book of the readathon. It basically... Oh, I also forgot it... There is a bingo board for this readathon. I'll link it all down below. You can go watch the announcement video. It'll all be explained there. But basically we have a bingo board that you can hit as well. And I think this hits the first three prompts at the top. I'm pretty sure. So I know this is LGBT, uh, First Nations author and YA from memory. So that pretty much filled, fills out all the first line pretty much. I don't know too much about this, I know it's YA at least. So um, yeah, and this is a debut novel too from what I've heard, so I'm really, really excited to read this and see what everyone thinks as well, but hopefully I can get to this relatively early, but we shall see. Alright, so the next book I want to talk about is one that Lynette Noni, who is Australian, obviously, I saw her raving about this and I had to pick it up. So this is actually quite a chunky book as well, and that is Will of the Money by James Inslington. So apparently he's Australian as well, so obviously if Lynette and only loved it, I'm going to pick it up. Duh. Love it. Thanks. Okay. I don't know too much about this. I know it's... From reading the synopsis, it's like a political fantasy kind of thing. So how many pages is this? I oh, know it's, it's a chunk. Over 600 pages, so this is probably the biggest book I'll, I'll be reading this month off the, top, off the top of my head. So, yeah, I don't know too much about this other than it is a political fantasy, but if, if Lynette not only loved it, I've got to pick it up. But hopefully I do love it. I'm not a big fan of political fantasy normally, but hopefully this will change my mind about that. And speaking of Lynette Noni, we have come to the final book in our Madonna Chronicles relaunch. Well, it was, originally it wasn't going to be the final book, but a couple of months ago she announced an epilogue to the Madonna Chronicles. And as you know, I've been reading these along with Sash and a bunch of other people and we've been really loving it. So the book we will be reading, finishing off this month, is of course Caldora's. So this, it, this only came out as today so this, it's the 31st of October when I'm filming this so hopefully this video will go up on the 1st of November I'm pr I'm planning to get, to get at least some of the footage from this uploaded tonight and edit it first thing tomorrow but this oh my god when she announced this I think we all squealed in anticipation and I've read the first two parts of this already because this did, does include the two Christmas novellas that she's already written so from now on you can get you can't get I know you can't get the Christmas novellas online anymore they are included in the first two parts of this book so I am so so excited for this I'm, there's also one point of view I'm itching to read and I saw the sneak peek of that in her newsletter today and I went, Oh my god, I'm gonna love this. I'm gonna give it five stars. It's gonna be awesome. I'm upset. 
But yes, I'm so, so excited to read this. And the live show for this will be on my channel at the end of November. So keep your eyes out for that. It will be announced later in the Discord. I'll leave a link to that below as well. So you just can check it out. You can see any past links to the live shows if you missed any of the chats. But oh, I am so excited for this. I, 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 yeah! Okay. And the final two physical copies I have I want to talk about is... One's the sequel and one's the first book. So last year I read Everyone in My Family Has Killed Someone by Benjamin Stevenson. So this is a about a family who their brother from memory has just come out of prison and they all basically go to this ski lodge in, I don't know where the hell it was, but basically they go to the ski lodge and someone tends to start bumping off their family. So they've got to work out essentially who the killer is. But I read this last year, I quite enjoyed it, and Ben's Australian as well, so I thought, oh yes, this is perfect for this readathon, and I'm a big crime girl, I love me crime, so Australian crime, Australian and crime, you had me, you had me in those two words, those two sentences, oh my god. So in addition to that, I'll re be reading the sequel, which is Everyone on This Train is a Suspect, so I know this follows the main character from the first book. What's, what was his name? I can't remember. Does it say? No. No, it doesn't. So, this is a sequel. This takes place on the Garn. Yes. So, it was basically a crime writing festival based on the Garn. And then, obviously, being a murder mystery, people get stuck and bumped off. So, and they got to find out. This is probably like the Australian version of Murder on the Orient Express, I'd say. I... Don't quote me on that. It could be... It could be wrong, but... It's the main mystery on the train. What more could you want? So the last book I want to talk about is Hangman by Jack Heath. So this is one of Ren's favourites. So I know from reading the synopsis this follows like a the FBI who's trying to solve this murder and they then the guy they hire is like a serial killer from what I gather. So that's the best I could that's what I remember about it, but this will give me quite a few points as well, being a host favourite, and it, it's Australian, so obviously it's it's going to hit the list quite well, I think. Okay, so this is my list of books for the Australian readathon. Like I said, relatively small. Uh, part, well, that one's a bit chunky, but 600 pages is easy for me. So I think I, well, hopefully I enjoy it because I do want to. Lynette not only liked it, I have to like it. Come on, seriously. Okay, so that is my TBR for the month of November. As I said, I will be reading other books in the month, but they're more secret vlogs. So keep an eye out for those. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you liked it, please do give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I shall see you guys in another video coming very soon. Bye.